I'm on my way up to Independence, Kansas to get loaded. We'll talk about that later. Uh, I wanted to tell you a story about my very first trip as an owner-operator years ago. Uh, just to kind of shine light on things that can go wrong and how they can be rectified. Um, I had been driving, this was back in I think 2010, I had been driving for a friend of mine who's a fleet owner for about a year and then I purchased the van from him. And this was my, going to be my first load out as an owner-operator. It was in February. I picked up in Tulsa and I was going to Iowa. And I, it was going to deliver um, on Sunday morning, about 10 a.m. was my appointment time. I remember this and there's a reason I remember it. Um, I get up there Saturday night and it's cold and it's going to get down to minus 4 that night. Well, the van I was driving that I just bought uh, had not been insulated. I mean, it was just a tin can, right? I had not done anything to it yet because I just bought it. Um, so uh, naturally, I was not staying in, in the van that night. So I got me a hotel that was only about, I don't know, four, five, six blocks away from where I was going to deliver. Great. So this is a Sprinter van, an older one, a T1N, what they call the T1N with the straight five, you know, awesome vans. They were great vans. Um, anyway, get up uh, a little extra early in the morning and go out, and of course, the van won't start. It is, you know, it'll, it'll barely turn over. It's, you know, it's minus four. The oil in it um, didn't have synthetic or anything, and it was, it was just like axle grease. Sunday morning, right, in this little bitty town, Podunk town in Iowa, and I, I, I start making phone calls, trying to find, um, trying to find somebody that can come help me get this, this van started. Uh, so, my first call, or the first person I had that said they could come out was a husband and wife team that owned this little record service basically uh, the husband he was out on the call the wife was there and she said I'll come out with a jump pack and see if we can't get it going I thought well, I don't think that's gonna work but it's you know it's all I had so sure come on out she shows up with this jump pack and um, of course that doesn't start the van what it what I believe it does do um, is blow out all of my glow plugs so now I don't have any glow plugs either and I didn't learn this until later um, so again freezing cold I talked with the hotel they let me you know um, use their I don't know phone book whatever their their phone inside and, you know I, they're calling people they're everybody's trying to help me right because I've got this appointment I've got to make so I'm still calling, still calling. I finally get a hold of somebody else. He says, yeah, man, he said, he said, I can get you going. He said, I work on, he said, this is what I do. He said, as a matter of fact, I'm out on a bunch of calls. He said, I got a bunch of calls this morning because it's so cold, I, you know, a lot of big trucks are frozen up, won't start. He said, but it's going to be like three or four hours before I can get there. I'm like, man, that's no good because, you know, I've got to get this load delivered. In the meantime, um, dispatch calls me and says hey man um, if we don't get that there by whatever it was 10 or 10 a.m. maybe they give me another hour till 11 um, we're not gonna get paid for this load you know so I'm, I'm working on it man I'm working on it I'll get it there one way or another so I call this dude back that said it'd be three or four hours and I said look I said I'm in a desperate situation I said do you know anybody you know here in town that maybe can help me and he said listen he said I've got a son that's got a pickup and he said I'm gonna call him and have him have him call you I said okay so to shorten the story up this teenage kid and his buddy show up in this old beat-up pickup and luckily I only had uh, one skid on the van and it wasn't super heavy I don't remember it was maybe 500 pounds and so the between the three of us 
we wind up getting this skid off of my van and into their pickup and that was a little bit of a chore but we got that done and 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 then we all pile in the pickup and we drive my skid over the four or five blocks to the receiver and uh, and deliver it and that's how we delivered in the back of the pickup but we got there on time i got paid i gave the kids a hundred bucks for their for their trouble and uh, i'll tell you i tell you what i never felt so great in all my life when i got that thing delivered and delivered on time um, and all my anxiety about you know being an owner operator and being out on you know on my own after that pretty well dissolved because i thought man you know first rattle out of the box all that went wrong managed to handle it get it all done i thought okay i got this you know and uh, that's just one example first run <laughs> rattled out of the box things that can happen 